protests, punch-ups, and now the government of Ukraine says demonstrators are trying to stage a coup. What has happened to a campaign which began as an attempt to embrace European democracy? I met someone and they make me feel so happy, so safe and everything just feels great. A British sporting hero comes out on YouTube. Why do so many sports stars choose to stay in the closet? And have smartphones turned us all into idiots? We talked to Randy Zuckerberg about the state of being together alone or alone together. But before all that, yet another problem tonight for the Royal Bank of Scotland. This evening it became the bank that likes to say, sorry, we cannot process your transaction. As if it wasn't enough to have played such a role in bankrupting the country and just a week or so ago to have been accused of running businesses into the ground, tonight part of its IT system went into meltdown. On what's said to be the busiest internet shopping day of the year, Great numbers of customers were unable to use their cards. Our own Andrew Verity is here, along with Paul Lewis, presenter of Radio 4's Moneybox. Um, just talk us through what happened, Andy. Well, around about 6.30, Jeremy, you had reports of transactions being declined. That's when they started to come in, just, of course, the time when people are looking to buy their groceries after work. Then you had a report of a supermarket in Kent where NatWest cards had been declined en masse. Was this just an isolated example? Well, had a look at Twitter, turned out not, because there were hundreds and hundreds of examples coming in from Twitter of people who'd had transactions decline. And just to give you a flavor of those, uh, there goes my plan to get some Christmas shopping bargains online tonight. Daughter now stuck in center of Leeds with no money for the bus. Thanks, NatWest. Your system failure means I can't pay for my Just to be clear about this, in case of any confusion, NatWest is owned by RBS. That's right, RBS owns right. NatWest. We bailed them both out after the banking crisis, of course. Uh, the customers of NatWest are uh, reporting all over great difficulties. Now, this happened between 6.30 and about 9.30 or 10, and it was also affecting online banking and all debit card transactions. But then around about 10 o'clock, online banking came up, and we were monitoring it constantly, and, and debit card transactions look like they've now come back as well. But the chaos it's causing. Uh, one tweeted to my colleague here, Paul, uh, my autistic son is seriously stressed as card not working in shops or machines. Doing my best to help him by phone. Um, well, obviously you're some sort of uh, messiah in these circumstances and people start tweet tweeting you all their grumbles. Um, how bad is this? Well, I think it's very bad for the bank because it's 18 months ago in June last year, they had a real problem where systems went out for a week in the case of, of RBS customers, slightly more than that for NatWest. And for Ulster Bank, which is also part of the same group, they were without any access to their bank accounts for a month. And that often meant that their employer couldn't pay them because they couldn't get the money into the bank. It was an absolutely major catastrophe then. What I've been told by RBS tonight is that they will be compensating people for any losses. You know, if, if, you couldn't, if your car's stuck at the garage full of petrol and you can't pay for it, well, I've had several tweets along those lines, how do you get home? Perhaps you get a taxi and hope someone at home's got the money. I don't know. They will reimburse those expenses. But last time, even with the really big problem they had, they did not pay any compensation. And there was another minor event which lasted a few hours, as this one seems to have done, in March this year. So people with that banking group have really suffered from these IT problems. And this is not a banking group that is in robust good health, is it? Well, no, in many ways it's not. Though I did notice the other day they were discussing making £500 million worth of bonus payments. Now, whether that will happen, we'll have to see, because last year Ulster Bank directors, as I recall, Andrew, didn't take their bonuses. I don't know if you recall we that. We spent quite a lot of money uh, bailing Ulster Bank out. Well, that's right. I mean, it's all part of the same group. They didn't take their bonuses, but RBS and NatWest did. We'll see if they take them this year. But it, yes, I mean, there's been all sorts of problems with the allegations about small businesses and how one bit of the bank has tried to put them out of business so the other bank bit could take their property over, completely denied, of course. And, of course, the mis-selling of payment protection insurance, not unique to RBS, but that's affected a lot of people too. And, of course, it's, it's the human side of it. People just utterly humiliated when they're at the restaurant and they're turned down with their cards. Yes, yes a, that, that a, a lot of embarrassing dates and early nights, somebody's <laughs> tweeted here. <laughs> Thank you both very much.